Hello? Hey. Oh. Lots of visitors today. Good morning! Woke up, head spinning, so many thoughts, so much going on. It wasn't tight. Yeah, it was. Whether you're gonna get high or high. Yeah, here you want the middle of the pool. You need to know everything. Dump it in the tube if we head to. Can you pump it? Maybe we have to call someone else, because that seems crazy. Okay. It's gonna take all day. It's not gonna be the same strength and resistance it's going at the same time. Yeah, you can call someone else. Yeah, I know. That worries me. I have to say, I am pretty nervous for today. All the thoughts are going on in my head of what could possibly go right, but also what could possibly go wrong, as there, everything really needs to be perfect today. Yikes! I say we're putting the solar up just in time. <laughs> <laughs> so you might be wondering, it looks completely shaded here. And yes, you're right, it does, on the ground. However, we're going with the TPM12, which is a single pole mount system, but we're doing that times two. However, the first panel is going to be six feet in the air, with the top one being over 11 feet tall. If you look at the trees, they have sun even four feet high. I'm really happy that our ground mount system actually didn't work out. Everything happens for a reason. That's what you call a rock. That's a big rock. This terrain is far too rocky for these screw piles. We actually wouldn't have got enough sun in the winter time on the bottom panels, which then gives you less electricity to harvest throughout the day, as we only have 1.5 hours of actual sunlight in the winter months. Don't That's what we call a happy accident. Summer's over, but you're keeping it hot. I stay right next to you like it's my favorite spot. Keep holding you close like you're all that I got as these autumn leaves fall down. All right, everything is now measured out. We decided to only go with the one hole and start digging before we measure the second one because basically we don't want the first array to shade the second array. There's really no point of us measuring out the second array as who knows what we're going to hit in our rocky ground. The hole might change slightly, so it's best to play it safe. <laughs> our solar array. Such a surreal moment, really. It failed one time, let's hope it doesn't fail this time. Don't you feel like your head's been spinning today? Oh. Just take like a deep breath and imagine a solar array. <sighs> I'm like, I was so nervous, but now I feel like I've, I've got a little bit more of a, I can breathe. Yeah. We still have quite a few big decisions to make today, but yeah. I think we're gonna nail it. I hope so. I'm not worried about the weather. If you and me will be together. Seasons change, so whatever. That's 10 feet. It looks way deeper, hey? I don't even know if the camera can do it justice. Just how deep that hole is in the earth. Wow. It's breakfast. You are the best. Are you serious? Screaming lady. I can't take credit, Paige made it. I have to say, today is such a special day. It's so nice to have friends here. Just the other day, we picked up Colin and Paige, who are great friends of ours, and they're here for the week. And they're here on this very special day where we set up our solar. I'm so excited that they're here. And Colin looked at us this morning because we hadn't eaten yet. And he was like, don't worry, we're gonna keep you fed. So sweet. I'm not worried about the weather. If you and me will be together. Season oh change so Tube. <laughs> All right, so before we put the sonar tubes in the hole, now that it's prepared, we are gonna put some stone in the bottom. And that has a lot of purposes, like for example, drainage, but also getting the sonar tube completely straight and flat, sitting on an even surface. So we're gonna start with some two inch because it is really mucky down there. And then we're gonna put some three quarter inch clear stone on top. Cause that's what the instructions call for. And we're following the instructions to a T. 
I'm not gonna lie everyone, there had been some confusion on certain things of what to get based on different things and Crystal was the problem solver. She project managed the entire situation, calm, cool, and collectively, and now we are set up for success. That's exactly why we actually had to end the last week's vlog early because Crystal literally did so much preparing and like this day actually wouldn't be happening right now if it wasn't for her. This place looks like a true construction site today. Materials everywhere, machines going, lots of different bodies moving around. It's so exciting. Porter's finally backfilling the very first hole. I can't get over it. It's surreal. That happened faster than I thought. Yeah. So he's being extra careful right now to make sure he doesn't move the tube. Yeah. And then this, that steel tube goes in it when the cement comes. Yeah. Okay. They can do hard things. <laughs> Us, we just watch. So you need between eight to 10 feet in the ground and we hit, well, Porter hit nine. Woo! That's with gravel and everything and then backfilling. So I'd say it's pretty perfect. It looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, Adam arrived just in time because like we said, the second pole is super important because you don't want the first one to shade it or- Mathematics! <laughs> and he's really good at math. He tried to get me to do algebra the other day. Triangles. With a shadow. All about triangles. <laughs> I said, Adam, I haven't even had my coffee yet. <laughs> I'll do that another day. I have to say, it's really good to have a community of people around you who have a little bit of knowledge in the back of their pocket because Adam showed up at the right time. We were putting those solar rays a little bit too close together where the shadows, you know, in the late evening or the early morning might have casted on each other. So we did some quick math there and I think we found a place that's gonna work perfectly all year round and we're not gonna have to worry at all. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like a waterfall. Might've found a spring. Yeah. Seeing how much water is in that hole is literally stressing me out a bit. We've just prepared so much for this and for that much water to be pouring out of the ground is actually really nerve wracking. How's it looking? A lot of water. All right, so things are not going to plan. We just got the second Soto 2 backfilled and it's just looking not good at all. Like, first of all, it was so hard to get in there with the water and it was kind of a stressful moment for everyone. And then, in, and the concrete truck is coming right now. And at the same time, the Sono tube is wanting to give way. Yeah, so on like three different areas of the Sono tube, it's starting to push in. So it's like beveling almost. It's just, it's, it doesn't look good. So Porter's literally undigging the Sono tube that he just backfilled. It's just such a bad area right there, eh? So bad, you might have to switch it. But who knows? Looks like only one's happening. Yeah. Is it really rough? It's Maybe bad. More, it might be able to. Oh. And I think what's more nerve wracking is seeing Porter's face. He's, I've never seen him this stressed out before. He was even saying, he's like, season one of the cabin, piece of cake. Girls, season two, this is a whole new level. Without a doubt, some of the worst news we could have gotten. This is definitely, worst case scenario. I, well, maybe not worst case scenario, we got one in, but. Uh, the concrete truck is literally coming down the road right now, so I guess this is, means delays, bringing everyone back out again, and trying to track down another stone tube of that size. <laughs> so I'll see what we can do, but boy, oh boy. Let's see if it works. I think you got it. All right, this pole is going in the first on tube. So I'm back from being down low for a minute. I'm high on energy, happy again, because this is super exciting. Even though we just got one, it's all we could do. We did all we could, and I just called Air Construction Products. They can't get another tube in. There's none in the province or in the city anytime soon until Friday. So it's gonna be quite a few days before we get another one, but here we go, we're going in. Just as soon as things were going right and they're going wrong again, the concrete truck got here and immediately said that there's four feet of water in the sauna tube. Yeah, we got four feet of water in there. Four feet? Oh, you get water. So we already, one is completely done. The sauna tube has, is done. Now the second one, I feel like I spilled up so Porter can't get the pole down because it just keeps filling. 
I'm nervous. I don't think we're gonna conquer you today. No, I don't think so. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to get two new sauna tubes. Yeah. And we can't actually put the concrete in right now, so we're trying to pump it out with buckets and sump pumps, and it's just, oh my goodness. I'm starting to wonder if we'll even get concrete in there today. <laughs> I, th I knew today was gonna be something, but I did not think it was gonna go like this. Holy smokes. So much water has filled up into the sun tube, so if you put the concrete into here, the concrete's already wet, it's already mixed. It wouldn't be as strong, it wouldn't cure as much. So the more water we can get out, the better it's going to be, so. That's how, what's happening with this? It's not actually taking off the, it's not actually collapsing, it's just taking off the inside cardboard, mm. falling off. We're still doing good. Yeah. Wow, a that lot was better wild. Than that. that was a wild few minutes. Good job, team. <laughs> wow. A little scary. A little scary. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> I have to say, pretty sad about that, but there's not much you can do, right? Just gotta wait until Friday. We're getting one full moon! Here comes the concrete! <laughs> I actually can't believe this is happening. This is something Crystal and I have dreamed of. I just can't believe we're at this point. From what the cabin used to be like and what it was like, I could have never, and I don't think we ever planned for it to ever be like this. I guess I wanna say I'm proud of us all, Pack. concrete person they're gone <laughs> hey porter did you quit yet yes <laughs> it's only <laughs> us <laughs> now that would be something one pull down and now time to shower all that concrete off of us because it's cold we now shower in our sauna so we light it enjoy the sauna enjoy the sauna and then you shower in the sauna and then it's like you have an indoor shower Good night. Hey, bud. Don't freeze in there, eh? <laughs> I have to say, that van heater sure does sound nice. Anything for our guests. Morning. Good morning. Yes, it's this cold. I'm wearing a poofy jacket. Poofy. Poofy. We're just making Colin and Paige some morning beverages while they wake up in their nice toasty van. But a true tea drinker. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but you know that person drinks tea when they bring their own tea bags. My mom does the same, so I was, I was laughing. <laughs> morning! Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, bud. You're welcome. I was outside and I heard a truck from like a mile Porter. away. Really? It's gotta be Porter, right? Yesterday absolutely crushed us <laughs> how many things of concrete did you lift on your over should, your head we should count actually but woke up full body sore today you're strong <laughs> it's eh? not a help though yeah i think we're all in the same boat though it was a long long day i think it was like a 12 hour day at least got one you got a tube yeah and i can pick it up right now in kenville you want to go to kenville page yeah where's that we'll go to a winery while we're there okay down 
Bye, Colin. Have fun editing. We love you. <laughs> so the sauna tubes are hard to get because they have to order them in from a manufacturer. A lot of places don't stock them, and the places that do usually run out really fast. So in Halifax, in the city, they run out all the time because there's only so many places that stock them, and then the places that order them in usually take a while to get them because... Well, everything's pretty slow out here to begin with. <laughs> well, they hold, they hold street signs, too. Yeah, like, like highway signs. So I called the home hardware that is closest to the manufacturer, and they, because they are so close, they just go down the street and pick it up because I can't pick it up because I'm not a distributor. You so they're going to go pick it up today, which is wild. You're smart. And I can go and get it from them. Good morning, Porter! of the tractor, Porter, Crystal, me, Bella, Paige. Is he not gonna do much? Colin's busy editing. We are going to try to extend this pad. That way we will have enough wood storage and we'll be able to get the wood for the winter because that is our number one heat source. We need to extend this pad. That way we can build the lean-to that will go over the existing pad, but you also have room to grab your firewood. All right, back to that time of year, everyone. Let's do it. What did I use these gloves with last? <laughs> it goes like, ooh la la I like the way you move I like the things you do I like it when I'm with you Approximately 70% of Nova Scotia, which is the province we live in, actually heats with wood heat as their main source. And our appointment is on November 1st for a wood stove. Because everyone, and by I mean everyone, is the 200,000 Ontarians that have moved here in the last year are all looking for wood stoves. Whoa, guys! Yeah, making good time. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. <laughs> wow, I yeah. can't believe this. Okay, check this out. We found a fully intact dragonfly. Paige found it. And I just learned some very interesting facts about them. Dragonflies are actually really cool because they begin their life cycle underwater. They crawl out of the water, burst out of their exoskeleton, and then dry off their wings and then fly away. Wow, imagine yeah. that. Ooh, la, la. I like the way you move. I like the things you do. I like it when I'm with you. Yeah. All right, Paige. Time for a supply run. Oh yeah. In the meantime, Colin and Jasmine are filming something you won't want to miss. I already cried in my interview. Subscribe and check it out on Colin and Paige's channel. Freezing cold showers outside. What? Turn the heat on! All right, we're here to pick up the last sonotube. I looked everywhere to try and find this one. Here we are. It means that this week, we might be getting both poles in the ground. I am so happy that we got this sonotube. We could have been waiting a few weeks. We got it. I'm gonna bring her home. What a day. Done for the day. Thank you for everything, Porter. You're welcome. Making our homestead a dream. Yeah. High five. One day at a time. One day at a time. What a nice day for a solar array. <laughs> all here and we're all going to attempt hole number two once again. We have a new sauna tube and we even picked up this three inch trash pump this morning. I think we're in luck, fingers crossed. And with the knowledge that we learned from the other day, we're probably gonna be smooth sailing. I'm honestly starting to think that we have our own natural spring here on the property, the way that the water is flowing into this hole. It is, <laughs> it's just a lot and it's not stopping. What's the plan? I'm gonna go and try to hit it back in around where that spruce tree is. Yeah. And then that way we can put the pump in that hole and not have the water come in this hole. Yeah, that's super smart. So essentially the water that's gonna be going into this hole will be already taken out before it can reach there. So it should save us. You hear that? Splish splash. Gotta fill up the pump because you don't want to start it dry. That's what I learned this morning. I'm very excited about this. I love new new toys. Come on, Porter! Nice. 
anything even happening? I don't know why it's not sucking. But... Porter thought he was going to be out of here by one. That is a funny joke. We are not doing good. Nothing's going to plan right now. Okay. Yeah. And then just turn the pump on and start going that. Again. Sorry! I was just trying to get a little bit more comfy holding that ratchet strap, but apparently you can't move. Hence why Porter wanted to put a rock there and not me. Try this again since somebody messed it up. Okay, the pump is definitely doing its job, but it just keeps getting clogged because of how much gunk is down there. So basically now, Porter has jumped back in the excavator. We're going to be digging another hole and then a trench that hole to try to divert the water to the other hole. I hope that works. And then we'll go back to the pump because obviously some water is still gonna come in as it's a very wet area. day has been absolute chaos. Anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. I know today's challenging for them, but I think, I really believe that they're gonna get this done today. All right, well, we're at the point now that this can go one of two ways. We can end up with two TPM-12 hole mounts in the ground or just one today. It's been, again, a lot of emotions, a lot of up and down and back and forth. I can hear the cement truck coming and the water starting to pour back in the hole. And we've been staring at this pump all day, pumping water out, digging, pumping water out, digging. We're all drenched and dirty and we're not even close to putting the rock or the sound tube in yet. So Whew, it's been a little bit of frustration and trying to keep spirits high. Okay, it looks like we have the hole under control. Porter's just bucketing at the first one, so I gotta go, everyone. I'm sorry. I have to cut this down 30 inches. I actually can't believe we're here. <laughs> I can't believe it. So the plan is, instead of backfilling with all of the fill that we've taken out, instead we're gonna be using the three quarter inch of the base layer to make sure it's completely level. We're gonna be taking two to four inch gravel and that is gonna be going around the sonal tube. That way it doesn't cave in again like the first day. Okay, now we have water in the hole. So they're trying to figure out how much water we have. Then we'll have to, at least we know what we need to do now. We need to take that bucket with the ratchet strap and bail it out. Two feet of water? Not bad, we're good. Flavor at this stage. Not gonna lie, I, uh, I thought you could do it, but I was very scared at the same time. But if there's anything I know about Crystal and Jasmine is they can get through anything that they put their mind to. <laughs> so perseverance and a good word. sometimes acceptance that things don't always work out, but. Yeah, I know, I was um, making coffee and you're like, are you, are you like, are you stressed? Are you used to things not working out? And I was like, yeah. Not, zero just, expectations today I had. Just the way she goes out here. Right? <laughs> Get in here, Porter. 
here? It's a memory. It's done. That dry, man. You got wicked on five. Foundation's done. <laughs> I'm forever a part of the cabin. Thank you. Thank you. Hashtag Just feeling super grateful for everyone's help. It was determination that got us here. And heart, yeah, yeah it wasn't heart. anything but that. Everyone wanted it to happen, so that's why it happened. It yeah. went up and down, for sure. It yeah. was, it was a roller coaster. Yeah, the whole- All of a sudden you're on a high, and then boom! The whole crashing down when the hole gets filled with water yeah. again. The whole week was like that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao, Pac. Ciao, Pac. We love you. Couldn't do without you either. Yeah. Very tired. Good work today. You're a 10 out of 10 working today. <laughs> You were, you were doing so good. How are you? I could fall asleep week. like this if you Same. could hold me up. Same. Please do.